Oh, that's nice. Why did it take me so long to try this one? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. Today I am playing around with new makeup. I haven't tried any of, well, I'm trying new products. Some of the stuff I already have used in the past. I've got Fenty Beauty. I've got Natasha Denona. I have Laura Mercier, a little bit of Danessa Myricks, Benefit, Tower 28, and I think I'm probably forgetting something. If you don't know me, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old tomorrow. I'm a professional makeup artist and a licensed hairstylist. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get going. It's kind of a chatty get ready with me today. I'm not really reviewing anything at this point. I'm just getting ready and talking about my week. So if you're interested in watching this video, stick with me, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave and the notification bell. Be sure to leave me a comment below. I love getting to know you guys and let's get on with the video. Today is Sunday and I didn't plan on filming today, but I have a few new things to try and it's my birthday tomorrow. So I have family coming over for dinner and I wanted to get kind of polished up a little bit. It's just very casual. So I don't want to be too overdone, but I'd like to look a little fresh. I put some makeup on this morning, but it's kind of wearing off. We went to Costco, so I wasn't that particular with my foundation. So I think if this is the right color match, I'm going to use the Fenty. This is a skin tint. Hold on a second. Let me pick this up a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had time to really play with it. So this is the Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Stick. Wait, Smooth Stick. Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. Uh, I got the color 7 and I'm not sure if it's going to be my color. If you've watched me for a bit, you already know that I self tan and it fades and I self tan and it fades. I'm not really sure where I'm at right now on the spectrum of color. So this one is a cream formula. It's got a light coverage. It's long wearing, claims to be. It's hydrating. It has a medium coverage. That's interesting. I, I played with it a little bit. Um, Hmm. I thought it was more of a light coverage. I don't know already. This is Rihanna's brand. The finish is a natural finish. It does state that this is a crease proof formula and it delivers blurred, smooth second skin finish that resists, fade, resists fading and transfer. Anyway, I'm not really going to give it the full test because I'm just going to put it over top of what I already have on. I already have the House Labs foundation on. I didn't powder it. You know, we've been shopping. I was also out in the rains, so it hasn't really stayed as well as it normally does, which is to be expected. But something like this, like a foundation stick, is so good to put in your purse, especially on a day like today where I went out and I just want to touch up my foundation. One of these days I'm going to try the full face and do a full wear test, but I just want to play today. So let's see if this is the color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good color. I'm just really, I've got a nice, where did it go? I've got a nice big pimple. I could feel it coming last night. Oh, it's so frustrating. Let me just put a little, I'm going to start there and see how that goes. I'm going to use a BK beauty 101 to press it out. And again, remember this is layering over top of something. So this week, oh my goodness, if you don't follow me on my other social media platforms, I did have a Facebook page, I have an Instagram, and I have a TikTok. TikTok is where most of my followers are. I'm almost up to 100,000 followers over on TikTok, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit 100,000 followers. I think I'll have to go out for dinner or something. Anyway, I was doing really well on Facebook. I was up to 20,000 followers or almost 20,000 followers on Facebook, and then I got scammed. I feel so stupid. I know I shouldn't because they're good at what they do, but there were signs that I shouldn't have trusted these people that were communicating with me. And I think I just wanted it to be true. So I went ahead with it. I had this woman contact me through Facebook and she said that she was part of Nielsen company. It's an advertising company. And I've heard of that name before. And I knew it was a good name. She gave me the website. It went directly to the website. And what she said was she wanted to run ads on my Facebook page. And I thought, okay, well, I'm starting to grow. And maybe that's a real thing. So before I knew it, she asked me to give one person permission on my Facebook in the admin section. I really don't know what I'm doing with all of this stuff. So I didn't know that once somebody was an admin in my Facebook that they could do whatever they wanted. Being the hackers that they are, they took the controls away from me and my Facebook and they started adding all these other administrators and they started changing everything. They changed my bank account, they changed my address, 
They changed all the controls. I no longer have control over my Facebook. It's not connected to my Instagram like it once was. And it's so upsetting because I trusted them which I shouldn't have, so I feel silly. And I worked so hard. I was up to almost 20,000 followers and I was just starting to be able to make money. It's not like it's a lot of money that I'm missing out on, but um, I'm so frustrated. And then, if you don't know already, I'm starting to offer online one-on-one -on -one makeup consultations and hair consultations. So that's where we get online together and you set all your makeup out and we go through what might work for you, what doesn't work for you. So I built my own website and I didn't like it. And I'm not a web designer, so I hired somebody. Let me pause for a second because I'm going to put some contour on. So after the stress of my Facebook situation, the hackers taking over my account and me trying to build my website and me trying to promote my business and, you know, filming, content, editing, all that stuff. I thought, okay, I finally just need help. I'm going to hire somebody to do my website for me. And I have to be honest, I didn't do a ton of research. I saw this person who works with WordPress and I negotiated with him. I got a price and I said, okay, let's go. Let's just do it. Very nice guy. Very, very nice guy. But our time difference, by the way, I'm using Tower 28, and this is Sculptino in Getty. So we started working together and there was a problem because he's young, he is from a different country, and he's masculine, very masculine, and he wasn't really understanding my feminine side, I guess I would say. so. That's how I felt anyways. So it's not his fault, really nice guy. And when I told him, you know, my thoughts, he was quick to change it, no problem. But then today I just decided it's not gonna work out. I need to have somebody working on my website that has kind of the same vision as I do because I don't have the time and I don't have the creative ability, honestly, to come up with ideas for my website. I just want somebody to be able to say, okay, I've watched your videos. This is how I see you. Let's get your branding going. Let's do, let's get you successful. Basically, that's, that's what I need. I need somebody who can kind of take over and obviously have my approval anyway. So I had to let that person go, but that cost me money because I had to pay him for what he's already done. It's not his fault that we didn't drive together. So that went wrong. Not wrong, I don't wanna say wrong. I wanna say I'm a very positive person and I think everything kind of puts you in the direction that you need to be, but I'm just, I just would love for um, things to be easy, just a little bit easy. Oh, and then I went to film today and my microphone's not working. I have a Rode microphone and it's not working. It's one of those, um, well, I'll show you. This thing, it just won't power on. I had it plugged in for anyone that knows anything about that, but I'm like, what the heck is going on? I don't understand. On a good note, I went to a concert on Friday night and I don't get out very much and that was really nice. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dermot Kennedy. I'm gonna use Painterly Paint Pot today by MAC on my eyelids. And anyway, so we were invited to this concert and I didn't know who he was. So on Friday, Friday's my house cleaning day and I went for a nice walk with the dogs. But I made sure to listen to his music all day because I don't like going to concerts when I don't know the words a little bit. So I did and he's really, really talented. The whole place, it wasn't a full packed house. I think he's just growing and getting known. Like he's from Ireland. I don't know what the history of him actually is, but if you don't know his music and you like thoughtful, uh, inspirational, loving music and just a really beautiful voice, he's so talented. I don't think he's everyone's cup of tea, but there was one girl in the box with us and she was crying throughout the whole thing. So his music is very moving and I really liked it. And then I went to the first game of our hockey season here and our team is the Senators, and they won, and we were in the box again. I met the nicest women. I was so happy. You know, it could go either way, right? I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona palette. I used this the other day in our live. If you didn't see that already, it was with Jody Menez and myself. We went on live on Wednesday, and we had a good chat. But I'm gonna use it again. I, let me see. 
I'll go into this color. I didn't use this color the other day. I actually did wear this to the concert the other night. Such a beautiful palette. If you haven't used Natasha Denona palettes, they're so, they're so pretty. Like the quality of the eyeshadow is gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit different. The color I'm using is Wit, and I'm gonna pull that up into the crease. So yeah, the women that I met on Saturday at the hockey game, they were lovely. They were really, really intelligent women, and they were all entrepreneurs, which I thought was so interesting. And one girl, she's actually from the Ukraine, and she came here a year and a half ago, and she's starting her own business and trying to grow it. She's helping women. Is she just helping women or she's helping everybody? I'm not sure, but she's she's supporting Ukrainians new to Canada and in the mental health field. I thought that was so good. Like she's such a loving soul. I'd love to help her grow her business. I mean, I don't know if I can help her, but I'd love to help her in some way. Because I think she's a good person and she's got good intentions and I want to see women succeed. There was another girl who went out on her own to do IT work, so computer work. I couldn't quite get the gist of exactly what she does, but she was really interesting to talk to. And then another woman that I met, she's so smart. And I think everybody's smart, but you know, she's very business smart. Let me see, let me get my brush. I'm very chatty today. I'm gonna get a BK Beauty brush. The other brush I used is a refer brush. This is a number 27. This is a natural hair bristle brush and this one is synthetic. Is this the one I want to use? Maybe. Actually, I'm going to go back to the refer brush. Now I'm going to go to this color right here, which is Vogue. And the beauty of meeting all of these women, I'm going to just deepen up this crease a little bit, is that we all want to see each other succeed. And we were all sharing our stories and we were all kind of putting our heads together a little bit. And I loved that. So the girl that is really, really business smart, that's what she went to school for. She went to university for business. She took some time and gave me some guidance with my website and gave me suggestions for my business structure, which was so nice of her. Yeah. And then there was another woman who works from home and has two young children. And we all just got along so well. It made my day, honestly. And it was really nice because it wasn't about getting drunk. It wasn't about a party, although it's nice to have a party. But it was just really good conversation. And that's what I'm about at this stage of my life. I just want to have good quality conversation. I'm not very good at small talk. And everybody seemed to be on the same page. Like we just wanted to learn about each other. And I found them so interesting. All different backgrounds and experiences. So since this is a dinner with my family, like my immediate family, I think I might just keep it like that maybe. No, I'm going to put a sparkle. Never mind, but I'm not gonna use the deeper colors. Like the other day I used this one right here and I think I'm gonna keep it more simple today. I do wanna show you this one right here. It's so sparkly. This one's called De uh, Mia. It's so pretty. Gorgeous. I always get going on these videos and I forget to introduce myself. So anyone that doesn't know me, my name is Julie Meekle and I am a 52 year old as of tomorrow, professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist and sharing my tips and tricks over on TikTok since the fall of 2021. And I'm trying to build my channel here on YouTube. So if you resonate with my energy, I'd love for you to follow along with me. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Like and share, that's so helpful. And comment, when you guys comment and engage, it shows the YouTube algorithm that I'm interesting enough to talk with. <laughs> that's about it. So I would love it if you do that for me. That would be amazing. Do you know, I didn't realize that was the case, that that helped so much. I've always liked all the creators' videos that I like, but I never really thought about the comments below. The comments mean a lot. I'm actually going to take the same color, which is Vogue. 
I'm going to use the same brush. This is a refer 13 and take it underneath the eye. Just smudge it out. Oh, my computer's going to die. Honestly, better hurry up. This is going to be a fast video, guys. The last upload was, I think, an hour and 45 minutes or an hour and 40 minutes. This one will be much faster. This is honestly reality, me getting ready this fast. How long have I been talking? It really doesn't take me that long in real life. Unless I'm really playing. All right, so I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer. This is MAC Prep and Prime 24-hour extended eye base, extend eye base. And I did this in my video the other day too. I just take a little tiny, tiny amount, put it on the back of my hand like this, and then just press it where I want that shimmer to stay. Okay. And then with my pinky finger, I'm going to place that on as it's still tacky. And that's going to ensure that it doesn't fall down all over my cheek. I don't know. Can you see? Oh, so pretty. I love that. I want to try that color one day over top of a dark shadow. I think that will be so pretty. Same thing on the other side. Is it right where that light color? Oh, I'm out of focus. Right where the light color is. I'm going to take another refer brush. I think all my other brushes are dirty and I love these. So this is an 03 and you can see how thin that is. And I guess I am going to use a little bit of this color right here. Silhouette, that's called. I'm just going to use it as my eyeliner and lift that outer corner. And that's about it. I don't even know if that made a difference. How many of you have switched careers and tried multiple business ideas? After my Facebook page got hacked, I was looking at all of my profiles. I had one business that was called Face It, Nail It, and it was this idea that myself and my daughters were gonna start this business and we were gonna do other people's makeup and nails and do like home parties. That didn't take off, but the Facebook page still exists. I have another one called Access Cosmetics, and that's actually my legal business name because I had this idea that I wanted to make all of the stage makeup much more accessible for people here in Ottawa, and that didn't work. Oh yeah, and I have a new mascara to try. So this is the Tower 28 mascara. Everybody, it was viral for a while, and let me just tell you a little bit about what this says. Why do people love it? We'll, we'll see. This one, an Allure Beauty Award. It's got four stars on Sephora. It's lengthening and volumizing. It's cruelty-free, clean at Sephora, volumizing, vegan, lengthening. That's all it says. That's what the wand looks like. I have been using FanFest by Benefit. That's been my go-to mascara lately but I'm always open to learning about new ones. It's gripping my lashes really good, guys. Oh, I got a sparkle. I can never tell if I'm gonna love a mascara or not until the end of the day. And after I've worn it a few times, so we'll see if this dries out at all, but so far it's really good. Like that's the first pull and it's really grabbing my lashes. Do you ever notice that, that sometimes when you try a new mascara, it takes you a few days to get it to kind of prime the brush? And this one's not. I feel like my daughter might be here. I better hurry up. Right, and another thing. So when we went to the hockey game the other day, uh, my husband was given a gift and you should see this, it's not a cake, it's cupcakes, and it looks like a beautiful bouquet of flowers. So we took it home for my birthday. <laughs> we didn't share it with anybody in the box. You guys probably won't even be seeing this until it's after my birthday. I 
pay such a little amount of attention to my birthday that I actually thought it was today, but it's tomorrow. But we're celebrating today. <laughs> so I just assumed it was today. I'm not even looking. But my husband's birthday is three weeks before mine and we're both the same age. So I just start saying that I'm the same age as him even before it's the actual day. I've never been one for big celebrations for myself anyways. So I'm just happy to have my family with me. I'm missing one. Lexi is not here, but I did talk to her today. Have you guys tried this before? It's pretty. Oh God, I really have to hurry up. The kids are starting to play outside. Ah, uh, can you hear them? Oh no, the basketball's coming. Kids bring joy, kids bring joy, kids bring joy. <laughs> They were playing soccer the other day and their net was on this side, which is my house. And I had to open the window and say, guys, like this is my house. <laughs> so they just had to switch it so it would, the ball would hit their house, but they weren't thinking. Okay, let's layer this up and see how it goes. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Why did it take me so long to try this one? Look at how black that is. I like it. I like it a lot. And of course I always make a bit of a mess, but I have a good feeling about that. Pretty, let me zoom you in. Hold on. Now I need eyebrows and I need concealer. A Little bit of concealer and ooh. just gonna use my finger for my concealer. Hmm, I'm really running low on brushes, guys. Let me just slide that out like this, sharpen that up. Good, do I care about that sit? I don't think so. I'm gonna use a touch of Danessa Myrix. This is a Color Fix Matte in the color Latte. I'm gonna use it as a blush. So I'm just gonna put a little bit tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. And I'm gonna work it into my brush. Should I mix a little bit of, maybe I'll mix it with a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna just shake a little bit of my setting spray. This is my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm just gonna spray a little bit like that. Kind of work my brush through. You see how pigmented that is? And I'm just gonna tap it. And a little bit goes a long way, as you can see. Blend it out. Now, if you ever go too heavy, which actually I think I did go a little heavy, but this stuff lasts. Go over top of it with your foundation brush. And blend it in. There you go. So you've got the staying power of the color fix. And watch, like literally you see that, that stays. So if you have an oilier skin or if you have, if blush is one of those first things that kind of comes off immediately, it fades the fastest. If you're one of those people, try that. If you like to play like that. That also can be used as lipstick. Hmm, maybe I should use it as a lipstick. I think I will actually. A little bit of a synthetic brush. And these can be used on the eyes as well. I should have used a lip liner. Powder right in where my pores are. Pat that out. my chin. This one's all done. So that is finished. <laughs> I have another one. This is Benefit Precisely My Brow. And I believe I got number one. Yeah, I got number one this time. I usually use a 
but I wanted to try and go a little bit lighter this time. No wrong or right, just a mood. And the 2.5 is just a little bit warmer as well. So this is more of a taupe. But if you look at my hair, it's quite warm. So I can go either way. But if you're more of a dirty blonde, definitely the taupe would be better than number one. Good, I have one long rogue lash. <laughs> And which lip liner am I going to use? I actually think I'm going to deepen it up a little bit. This one is by Bare Minerals and I can't read the, I don't know the name. I'll put it up on the screen. I just want to deepen it a little bit. These are creamy enough that you could use it as a lipstick. Okay, I'm done. Did I do blush? Yes. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna put a little, <laughs> don't laugh. Well, you can laugh. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. This is by Laura Mercier. And you guys know what it's like to not be able to see. I, again, will label it here. Everything that I use, by the way, is gonna be in the description box for you with links. The links will provide me with a commission, small commission. And if you're gonna buy it anyway, use those because it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out, but no pressure at all, of course. And let's pop this on. Just a bit in the center. All right, that's it. I don't know if you learned anything today, but I had fun chatting. I'm gonna go have dinner with my family. Thank you for being here with me and let me know what you guys wanna see next. If there's anything in particular you want me to try. Thank you for sticking with me this long. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share with all your friends, follow me on the other social media platforms. That would be great. And I will see you later. Bye.